really excited to finally make a return to this ongoing series featuring premium Android games. 2023 has been a pretty solid year for native Android games releasing on the Google Play Store. As always, I will mix some overlooked games with some higher profile games. If you haven't seen my other videos featuring native Android games, I highly recommend checking out the playlist, which will be linked in this video and in the description area. I'm excited to feature a new set of games to add to this growing list of great games that are a perfect match for dedicated Android devices such as the Retroid Pocket, Odin Pro, and Logitech G Cloud. I am the Retrotech Dad, and together, let's explore 10 more premium native Android games that are well worth checking out. I'll be using the Retroid Pocket Flip as my test device for the games in this video. The games featured should work on most of the T618 handhelds as well as other more powerful Android handhelds. A lot of times the Google Play Store might list a game as being incompatible with the device, however the games can be siloed and they should work just fine. So let's start with a lighter game, but a very fun one. Ping Adventures has the classic arcade style addictive gameplay and does a very good job staying true to the Ping or Buster Brothers franchise. I actually first discovered this game back on the PlayStation Vita when I used to collect limited run games for that handheld. It's great to see that Ping Adventures has a native Android version with full controller support that is quite affordable at only $3.99, making it cheaper than a lot of the other digital storefronts. Peg Adventures is available on many other platforms, including the Nintendo Switch, PC, and home consoles. I'm not even sure how I came across this game, but I'm really glad I did stumble on it because it's quite a charming game. Traps and Gemstones comes to us from Donut Games, and it looks like the studio primarily makes mobile games and has been doing it for quite some time. I really enjoy the gameplay hook on this one. The character is pretty much Indiana Jones right down to the whip as a weapon. As you can see, it's a platformer adventure game with a bit of Metroidvania influence and a search for relics hidden beneath a pyramid. This is a solid game with full controller support, and at the $4.99 regular price, it's well worth the admission fee. Late Shift is actually a game, or perhaps an interactive experience, that I first played over on my PC which I picked up on sale from Steam, and when you hear FMV game, for some of us older gamers we get horrific flashbacks of some of those earlier FMV games back from the Sega CD days. However, Late Shift, while being an FMV game, is actually a very high quality production with a very solid story and act. It really does play like an interactive movie. The choices in this game affect the outcome in which there are seven different possible endings. It's pretty awesome to see this available on the Google Play Store, and I'd love to see more of these style of games available for the platform. The first chapter of the game is available for free to try out, and then it is $4.99 for the entire experience, and I think just trying out the free chapter will be enough to get you hooked to want to continue through. This one has full controller support as well, so there's no need to tap on your screen to play through this one. Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you your ball. My ball? Adam. I bet many of my viewers' first experience with Oddworld Munch's Odyssey was way back on the original Xbox in 2001, where it was actually a fairly high-profile launch game for the console. The Oddworld franchise was originally quite big on PlayStation, and Munch's Odyssey was originally planned for the PlayStation 2, but ended up becoming an exclusive title for the Xbox. Nowadays, Munch's Odyssey is available on multiple platforms, including this native Android release. Munch's Odyssey was actually the first time the Oddworld series went to 3D, and so with that, new gameplay elements were introduced with it. The game can at times show its age, but I still think it's classic worth playing, especially for fans of the Oddworld franchise. Munch's Odyssey is also a very affordable game going for only $2.99 on the Play Store, and it's well worth adding to your Android game library at that price.
I think if I had to describe Thumper with as few words as possible, I'd simply say it's an experience. But it is one that is worth going through. The developers describe Thumper as a rhythm violence game, and I'll add and say that in addition to that, it's got intense visuals that are a perfect complement to the entire atmosphere of the game. My first experience with Thumper was actually in VR, and one might think that it doesn't translate well to just a regular screen, however the gameplay and visuals are still just as satisfying. I find that Thumper is a good match for handhelds and comes with full controller support. Thumper is available on the Google Play Store for $4.99. I know a couple of my viewers will be very happy that I finally have featured this fantastic game in my Android game showcase. The Bard's Tale, much like Munch's Odyssey, comes to us from way back where it was originally released in 2004 on the original Xbox, PS2, and PC. This is an action role-playing game, but probably one of the best things about the Bard's Tale is the humor, and so this makes it a bit different than your standard fantasy role-playing game. Despite the age, this game holds up incredibly well, and amazingly is only available for $2.99 on the Google Play Store. Considering the amount of content that you get with this one and the excellent controller support, I'd say it's well worth experiencing this funny adventure. Brotato is an awesome top-down roguelike shooter that I was pleased to see receive a port to the Google Play Store back in March of this year. I personally love games like this and have featured other great ones like Vampire Survivors and 20 Minutes Till Dawn. I find games like this are absolutely a perfect match for the Android handhelds with its pick-up and play gameplay style. Brotato features tons of content to unlock, lots of leveling up, and very hectic gameplay. Brotato is well worth the price of admission at $4.99 on the Play Store. Surprisingly, this game is not yet available for the Nintendo Switch with a release planned sometime in 2023, but no need to wait, you can play it on your Android handhelds with full controller support. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance was a really pleasant surprise with it receiving a port to Android back in April of this year. Ironically, I was testing Dark Alliance with PlayStation 2 emulation on a couple of devices around this time, so it was very cool and convenient to see it receive a native port, which means that you don't necessarily need to rely on emulation to enjoy this one. I have found that Dark Alliance plays well on all sorts of Android devices, and it's a very solid port to the platform with full controller support. As I've demonstrated in past videos, the price disparity is very obvious with this one being $9 $9.99 on the Play Store, whereas on Steam and Nintendo Switch, it's $29. This is one of my favorite hack and slash action RPGs, and if you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. Endling is a pretty special game, and right from the opening sequence, you can tell that it will be a different kind of experience. Endling is essentially a survival adventure game that has you taking on the role of the last mother fox in the world while she must care for her newly born cubs, as well as traverse this post-apocalyptic world. I warn you that this is a game that might hit differently, but it's one that is worth experiencing. Endling is another 2023 Android port. And I do hope that we continue to see more premium experiences make their way to the Play Store this year. This one is available for $9.99 and again comes in at one third of the price of other platforms. The game has full controller support and despite the graphics, does fairly well on medium settings on devices such as the Retroid Pocket Flip and similar.
finally the last game on this list for this video and probably one of the more popular titles, Super Meat Boy Forever is yet another game that received a surprise port to Android back in April of this year. This is the long awaited sequel to the original Super Meat Boy which was an incredibly popular indie title. The gameplay is a bit different this time around with Forever, however it's still got that challenging need to try it one more time hook. The biggest surprise with this release however is its ridiculously low price of entry on the Play Store coming in at only 99 cents which is literally pennies compared to the other store platforms like the Nintendo Switch where it's $19.99. The game does support controllers but given the nature of its auto running gameplay it only actually uses two buttons but regardless it's still a nice fit for these Android handhelds. I hope you enjoy this list of native Android games that are playable on dedicated Android handheld devices. I'm excited to see what the rest of this year will bring in terms of native Android ports to the Google Play Store. However, there's so much more to discover on Android and I can't wait to continue exploring what is available so that more people can enjoy these great games that work great with dedicated handheld devices. I look forward to the next Android gaming video and until then, I am the Retro Tech Dad and thank you so much for watching.